Yo, it's a new video. It's a tutorial, and today we're reviewing a Palulu chip. Let's get into it. All right, let me show off my arsenal. We got our 18 channel. We got our daddy long legs, candy cane trees. Yeah, we got four AA battery holder. We got not one, not two, but seven servos. One fell over. You're a disgrace to all of us. And then of course, we got our USB, which is the most important thing. First things first, you wanna plug your USB into your, your chip should be lined up once you plug it in. If it doesn't, that's a you problem and I can't help you with that. So, the hardware on this is the greatest, but the software on this is kind of weird to download. So I will leave a link down below just in case you guys wanna actually get this stuff. So once you first download the software, this should be the first screen you actually see. Once you're all ready to go, you should plug in all your dongles. So let's just like get a candy cane in this piece. Let's just plug it into one, those. It's also important that you should see that the black ends are the real ends that should be sticking out. Last thing or first thing you wanna do is plug your battery holder inside your maestro that should activate your servos should start twitching or something go into your, your palulu page this is your status right here this is where all your channels can be plugged in here comes your errors in case you have an issue is your servo explodes in front of your face here's your settings you got your numbers right here are actually located at the bottom of your maestro chip so if you see these numbers you know what channels everything is right here is your your modes you can change these to inputs and outputs for buttons and stuff here is your minimum and maximum so basically what you can do with this is that you fool around with these until basically help you maximize or minimize the degree of how you want to rotate your servo. If you want to make your servos rotate to zero to 90 degrees and just go up, I will make them just be like halfway, move like that. But if you want to move to zero to 180, then you lower down your minimum and you up your maximum. So that should help you move more motions. This looks really wrong as you think about it. All right, let's just skip to the next, back to the status page so to have some fun. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna plug in all our channels. I think, I think we're down all the way down to five, maybe six, definitely five. Okay, uh, so you just wanna click all these checks to wherever you plugged your servos in. So while you're moving your pin right here, your servo is moving in real time. You see this little sequence tab? You wanna pull that guy to the side. So what you wanna do is, you wanna hit your bad boy right here on the edge, which says new sequence. You wanna hit that real quick. You can name your sequence to wherever you want. You then wanna come over to your bad boy over here, which is your servo controller pad thing. You have this little icon down here, which is save frame. Save the frame that you're currently on. You wanna move your servo to wherever position that you wanna be in. So let's say I want this guy to be over here, this guy to be over here, this guy to be over here, way over there, this guy to be over here, and this one to be way over here. Here. Then you just want to hit save frame again. It's the first frame I was already in, and the last frame I just changed my servos to. What you want to do? You want to hit loop, or don't hit loop because you already know what you're going. You already know what you're going to be into. Let's hit play on that bad boy and let the madness begin. Turn that noise off. Let's never hear that again. So as you're already down with your two frames, are you you're like the way that your servers are moving? You then want to go over to copy all sequence to script. Now what's that gonna do? It's gonna save all the process and all the frames you're gonna do. So this is why I like the Maestro right here, because you don't even need to go into calculus school or coding school and get a degree on that stuff. You got your coding right here. The Maestro does it for you. It already lays out everything and all the movement that you're collected in and types in the coding for you. So all you gotta do is apply all setting click that bad boy then the last thing you want to do to your mice you then wait pull out this blue thingy right here that's your jumper plug it back in and then your script should be running off your servos just like you plugged it in to begin with and that should be the last step and uh program all this stuff and then you're good to go all right so to be honest it's not a bad piece of tech it's super small and compact and another valuable thing i want to point out is that while I was controlling these bad boys, I only use this. And these batteries came from the dollar store. So in conclusion guys, best product ever, two thumbs up. Make the software more appealing below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you wanna check out more videos, my YouTube will be linked below. I also hit that subscribe button. I also hit that like button. I also hit the comment section and leave me a comment below what you think you like this video. And until my next video guys, peace.